to celebrate a big, a big honor that uh, one of our employees, Charlie Fraser, has been with us for over 30 years. And um, Charlie was given an honor that's been long in coming. He fought in the World War, in the Second World War, uh, for this country. And his his group that he was with at that time, I'm sure you know, a lot of you are, are younger than me, so you I don't remember it. So I'm sure a lot of you don't remember. But there was segregation back then, which I'm sure you've heard about, where the blacks and whites were separate, segregated. They had separate bathrooms at one time. That all changed back in the '60s. But when Charlie ended the war in, in, in the '40s. Um, the, the uh, troops that we had were also segregated. I actually never knew that until just this week when I started doing some research on it. It was very, very interesting, which is why I, I you know, printed this thing out so everybody knows what we're celebrating here. But uh, Charlie, Charlie was part of a group that um, was down in North Carolina. What, what, what city was it in North Carolina? We were all from Jacksonville. Yeah, in, 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 that, in that area of North Carolina. And there's one other one that's out in California also that was made up of all blacks that served our country. And, and um, the government just recognized um, after all these years that you know, what they did for our country and whatnot else. So it, it's a big honor. Charlie was invited down to DC yesterday, uh, was given a gold medal of honor. And he's got his medal here that he can show everybody. And he's got to wear it with pride. Wow. Long, long, long time to come in. Gaithersburg Gazette newspaper, and they're very, very, very interested in doing a story about Charlie. So it probably won't make next week's paper, but it should be in the week after that. We're going to meet, we're going to meet with him on Tuesday, yeah, on and Charlie's going to do an interview telling about you know what the things he had done and whatnot else. So Don't it's give a, it a wand. He'll keep it. It's a, it's a big <laughs> honor. We're, we're proud of what he did for our country, and, and uh, we got the freedoms today because of what, what uh, him and his troop and all the, all the people who fought for us had done for us. So it's a, it's a big honor to be congratulated by, by, by the uh, United States after all this time. Congratulations. Thank you. We appreciate Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Charlie's family came in with us today, so they, they I, is this the brother was down there? What did he catch today? No, his son was down there. Son was down there. Son was down there. Son, he's not here. The war was supposed to be. He's supposed to be coming. Well, we'll make sure he gets Kenny. Charlie, get all the stuff just uh, to find him, but I'll go along there. He knows it all. It's a, it's a big honor, and it's a, to me it's very interesting because I didn't know anything about it when I started to look into it to find out exactly what it was all about. It's a, it's, it's a big honor. My, my father also fought in the World War, but I know nothing about it. Man. You know, he never talked about it. I never knew his stories, and unfortunately he's gone, so I guess, I'm glad I got time to talk to Charlie about this and hear what it's all about. Well, I tell you, when we went, and I went in, well, I went on one way, we didn't have food from citizens like the other day, we, the bricks back had was made out of cell tax. Floor was carpet stuff laid on the ground until we advanced. And some of them had, we, when we advanced further, we got hutch with concrete, but all before that was just things dirt covered up. And have heat. We didn't have no heat in those concrete huts and the beat and all the huts. You had heat piped in from one to the other building like that, but we just had to make up for that. If you didn't like it, you would, you would be out there running around barefooted. A minute and a night, I'd been out there fighting far barefooted. And you better not get you, put your shoes on because you didn't get the time. But it was rough. It was not nothing to play with. Of course, you had. Follow orders, or else you know what this the consequence. I just, I don't, I just didn't like to talk about it too much. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you said originally there was sixteen thousand people that were in your troop, and in your, in that. It was twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. You know, when, when, when this last counted yesterday, when they passed out the gold medal, it was down to four hundred and twenty.
more than 20 survivors are still available and still around. And they, they thought most of them had shown up yesterday for, for the, for the uh, ceremony, which is a good thing. Definitely a good honor. Again, like I said, we, we, we appreciate your service and we appreciate what you do for us here also. Charlie, you want to go? Charlie, you want to go cut the cake? Oh, he cutting it. He can do it.